Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Coach Shock. We are back with another video. And today, we're talking about Michael Pittman Jr. He wants to define himself as the number one wide receiver for sure. Now, I know Colts fans already been like, well, he's definitely the number one in all books already. But he wants to go out there and prove it. And I am totally 100% behind this because he said he wants to go out there and make and prove himself that he is that guy and he's ready. He's talented uh, going into next season. I mean, we all have seen the footage so far of how he's looking right now with Matt Ryan and these OTAs and these training practices. Uh, but right now, I mean, I definitely agree. I think he's going to take that leap and go on to be the number one wide receiver. Uh, also in this press conference that he mentioned that he's probably the oldest guy in the wide receiver room as of now. That is because we don't have T.Y. Hilton on the roster. So he is 24 years old, and I do think I think he is the oldest wide receiver right now. And that says a lot. You know, a lot of people, you know, going into the league when you're not uh, maybe a first-round uh, first round pick, you don't really have the highest ceiling or highest expectation going into the league. A guy like Michael Pittman Jr., of course, he was drafted by the Colts. And, you know, we hold him to this pedestal. But him amongst the rest of the draft class, I don't think his pedestal is that high. So he just goes out there and play hard and, you know, commit to the team. And, you know, just to have that expectation to be the number one, it just shows you that the grit that he has, you know, the dedication and the commitment he's going to try to become the best wide receiver on the roster. I kind of like that. I really do. Uh, I think he's already a good, uh, pretty decent run blocker. I think the only thing he really has to work on is the penalties, the holding calls. If he, if he tries to restrain himself from holding so much, I think he kind of had a holding issue uh, last year. You know, every now and then he'll be good on blocking, but it's like it's like ticky-tack. It's like 50-50. But I think if he works on his uh, his run blocking a little bit, I think he's going to oh, like when we when he's blocking for screens for Jonathan Taylor or Naeem Hines or whoever it is. I think he'll be I think he'll be even better. I think that's the only thing he really has to work on. Of course, I can probably say everyone has to work on catching the football. Because the catching issue has been a huge, a huge issue for the Colts for seasons to come. Uh, I think he's probably the only wide receiver I can think of that really drops the football. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how he's going to turn out next year. Like I said, he's already a dog in my eyes. The, the catches he made with Carson Wentz, even though they were underthrown, I think it just shows you how good he can be when you just feed him. He can definitely be the Julio Jones to Matt Ryan or the Calvin Ridley before the betting. Uh, if you want to put that out there, I definitely think he could be that 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 one A guy for Matt Ryan if he just feeds him. He just has to feed him. And I know Matt Ryan's probably going to target the tight ends a lot. The tight ends are going to have to get it together next year. They're really going to have to go out there and catch the football. But Jelani Woods, I do have high expectations for him. I have high expectations for Jelani Woods and Kyler Granton. Moali Cox, I think he's just going to be there. Uh, he's going to catch the football whenever he gets that chance. But I think we need him more in the red zone than anything. But Michael Pittman Jr., definitely, I think he's going to take a leap next year and be the best wide receiver in the division. A lot of people mention Brandon Cooks. I'm like, Brandon Cooks is good and everything, but, I mean, he doesn't really have anything over there, so he's just stat padding at that point. But I think Michael Pittman Jr. is definitely going to be ahead of Brandon Cooks as the best wide receiver in the division next year. But you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section about Michael Pittman Jr., his comments, how do you think he's going to play next year and all these things, or who else is going to be better. Maybe Alec Pierce. You guys might want him over Michael Pippen Jr. But you guys let me know your thoughts about him and all these things in the comment section. This is Marcus, and until next time, you've been called a shot.